so much okay. and the effects from this heater being felt in many ways and one of them is on the roads. It has been so hot. There have been instances of the roads actually buckling. So we have CBS 4's Rick Salinger to find out how common that is and exactly why this happens. He joins us live with the answers, Rick. Well, Dominic, I'm not going to bore you with the old cliche of trying to fry an egg on the pavement, mainly because I prefer my eggs poached. But we can tell you it's been so hot this week that a road buckled in the town of Castle Rock. It looked like a mini earthquake, but the source came from above, not below. The intense heat, so strong it can turn Colorado's roads into obstacle courses. Why? We asked CDOT's chief engineer, Stephen Harrelson. And what happens is the, the concrete heats up and it expands, and we put little joints in it, so it's kind of like a tile floor, just like we're standing on. But we were inside, at my request, of course. But the crews that are dispatched to fix the buckled roads are not so fortunate. It's their unenvious job in this weather. It's very rare. We have millions of these concrete joints and it makes the news when one or two of them buckle in in on these heat waves like we've got this was just this past monday in castle rock on plum creek parkway this was in july two years ago on parker road colorado has a very tough tough climate in that um you know five months ago it, it was 20 below zero in parts of the state and you know now it's a hundred and Harrelson has three important bits of advice for his crews on the road. Stay hydrated, stay hydrated, stay hydrated. That's not a bad idea at all. In fact, at least we could say we're not out here today in a blizzard. Live in Aurora, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.